the the bigger question or oh, I'm, I'm gonna pose to kuriba pf what do you think is going to happen to the rest of the members if the court rules in mouse and pass favor i'm not saying they are going to ruin mouse and pass favor i'm just saying if it is if it if it ends up that way if they say mouse sampa is a legitimate pf president if they say he followed the right protocols if they say he did things through the right channel so therefore he deserves he should stay as pf president what do you think is going to happen group by gbm imano muamba uh, uh, Chimbaka Mbwiri, all those people that are, are fighting Mao Sampa, all these senior PF uh, leaders, what do you think is going to happen to them? We learned in 2014. This is not revenge, but we learned. Uh, so, because of that, even on, before the Independence Day, on the 23rd of, of, of October, we knew we were going to have the convention next day. And you plan even in America, they plan the acceptance speech if you are elected as president, and then they plan the defeat speech if you lose. You know that. Uh, just an hour when election announced, or a few minutes, Clinton came to read the speech. She even failed to read it because she was crying. But it's prepared. So we said if we win the convention, what are the steps we need to do? Because we knew those who will not win, they will go protest. They will go to court uh, to get an injunction to stop us from uh, exercising our rights as president at the time. So a day before the event, we decided if we win, these will be the new office bearers. And we asked them to give us copies of NRC. And then we went to the police and we said uh, we need them to do fingerprints because we may be making an application. So on the actual day when we won, straight from KK, conference center we went to the police and submitted the list and submitted the fingerprints and they verified the fingerprints had already been done eight the names to put as office bearers need to be uh what's the word given a green light by the police now office bearer or is being uh, he's got a court case he's a criminal they don't want office bearers who are criminal. So that's why they, they, they ask for fingerprints. So we did that way in advance. Uh, so the police okayed all the names. There's no records that you have, you have criminal records. 8 a.m. with the police having authorized those names that there's no criminal records, we went to as soon as they were opening the registral society, 8 a.m. we submitted. 8.30, the Babika Pomulande Shinshimbi. And once that happens, that means they've accepted. So, so by so, the time that injunction was coming, 11 o'clock, names had already changed because we planned in advance. Yeah. So it, it, it's, not, it's not a matter of that stamp that was placed on that document it wasn't just a mere reception of the document no, there's nothing like so that. The, so that as we sit here the names have been changed the names have been changed and they are recognized they are recognized anybody who doesn't agree needs to go to court to sue the registrar of societies interesting and the registrar of society is a government institution meaning they'll be suing the attorney general yeah. then they can explain uh, the process how they change the name interesting so it was how to do it you have to do it early it goes without saying any election agreed will go to court and obtain an injunction okay yeah all right now sampa is in a very comfortable seat right now because he learned what uh, happened to him in 2014 he learned his lesson very well so the type of of games or the type of strategy that uh, edgar lungu used to, to become PF president in 2014 is the same thing that Mao Sampa has done. You know, there was that time when uh, uh, Sylvia Masivo uh, they were try and guys called were trying to organize a convention. On the other hand, Uku, President Lungu also had his own convention and he became PF, PF um, president. But it's the same thing that uh, Mao Sampa did this time around. For him, he, he made sure that the image that the, the the other pf leaders did not see it coming 
and speaking of this pf problem pf was always meant to to find themselves in this kind of situation because they they everybody wanted to be president there was no way just look just think about it okay democracy is a good thing but too much of anything is a problem just think about it shimbakam wiri wanted to be president Emmanuel Mwamba wanted to be president. Brian Mundubile wanted to be president. Mao Sampa wanted to be president. GBM wanted to be president. So many people wanted to be president. And because some of those people, among those people that wanted to be president, some of them realized that if they, if they go to con- to a, for a convention, they, 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 they don't stand a chance of winning. Because among us, them all, personally, I feel... Brian Mundubiri was more popular. He was likely to become the PF president if they had if they had gone for a convention, like if all of them had participated in the in the in the convention. Now, um, when Mao Sampa dribbled them, then they now started looking at President Lungu now. And President Lungu, because of the things that he has gone through with the UPND government, it was very much easy. To even influence him to come back now because they were like, if we can't have it, then it's better for President Dungu to have this seat now. So this 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 confusion will not end here. And I think this all matter, all this court case, all this matter in court will even take a while before it is resolved. So the the bigger question, or oh, I'm I'm gonna pose to Kuriba PF, what do you think is going to happen? To the rest of the members, if the court rules in Mao Sampa's favor, I'm not, what do you think is going to happen? Could be GBM, Imano Mwamba, uh, uh, Chimbaka Mwiri, all those people that are, are fighting Mao Sampa, all these senior PF uh, leaders, what do you think is going to happen to them? Because if you ask me, if that was to happen, some of them we will see them, to, to, uh, they will start forming their own political parties. And when, they, when, when that happens, PF will be doomed to fail because some of those people, they have, uh, they have a lot of followers. So if they try, decide to form new political parties, it means they are going to carry a, a good number of followers. Meaning that if, even if Mao Sampa contests as PF president in 2026 against President HH, the votes will be splitted between whatever political party these pf these other pf leaders will form with the actual pf party they will split votes and the advantage will still remain in president hh's favor it was, the advantage will still be with the with the upnd and mao sampa is in a very comfortable situation to the point whereby he doesn't even need to lift a finger because i i personally feel like it's, the government is even fighting on his behalf because they know that if Mao Sampa uh, uh, stays in this position as PF president, this confusion within the PF will not stop. If anything, it will just tear the, 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 the political party apart. And um, in, in the end, it is, it is PF, it is the UPND that are going to benefit the most. And Mao Sampa, of course, he is going to be proud that uh, I'm the PF sitting uh, president. But the thing is, the, it is the UPND that are enjoying the most. But I'm, I'm not saying this whole thing was engineered by, by the UPND. But I feel like probably the UPND might just take advantage of the situation. Because the UPND themselves, I mean the PF themselves, they failed to sit down and resolve these matters internally. Because the moment they just took that... Uh, uh, um, problem to court when they just when they took the matter to court, that was the moment they involved the government. That's when they gave even the powers to the UPND to even interfere now in their internal matters. So this problem will just tear uh, uh, the PF apart. But the major winners in this in this in this uh, problem will be the UPND. Because if you, if, you, if you think about it, if you see the way Mao Sampa is right now, he's not even campaigning against the, the UPND government. If anything, he's even speaking uh, good of the government. You know? you know, when they were interviewing him, he, he talked about how, how, how well the process went, how good 
the everything went you know when he talked about submitting the 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 fingerprints he talked about how the police were making sure that everything is in order how the police were protecting the property you know so he was just like he was vouching for how good the the judiciary system is you know he, he was he was in, in, in short he's he's, he's siding with the upnd government you know so he's not even com- campaign against the upnd government so it's like he, him he doesn't even have a strong battle to fight because the government is doing all the bidding for him and on the other hand the 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 other guys the the other pf leaders been at shimbaka it, it is them now that have, have are having a very tough battle you know what you think about the whole problem in the patriotic front let me know what you think uh, can be done to save the pf if i told the seven pf um, let me know what you think in the comment section below i'll see you in the next video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe Thank you.